So we just finished our cutting board. So how do we care for it now that we? Uh, it's been it's been a week. So uh, in the early stage of a brand new cutting board, you're gonna want to uh, put some oil. Like you're gonna see, it's gonna dry out a bit faster than uh, an older cutting board. So what I do is just reapply some of the mineral oil, and the one you want is the heavy one, which is uh, also uh, tasteless, odorless, and laxative. Uh, mineral oil. Uh, why this one? Because it doesn't turn rancid, so that's the biggest reason for it. So, all you have to do is just put a little dab of oil, and then you just put it back. It's already soaked in, so I'm gonna need a bit more. So, cutting board was pretty dry. I used it fairly quite a bit this week and uh, after every time I use it, I use a damp cloth to, uh, to clean it. And that's basically all the, the, the uh, maintenance you have to do for a newer cutting board. So you make sure you clean it every time after every use and then uh, you just re-oil it so basically I'm going to do the sides as well and uh, under and then uh, I'm going to leave it on the side so that's for a new cutting board now <clears throat> for an older cutting board so this one's been used quite often as well but uh, in this case um, I have to scrub it like it's been uh, about a month month and a half that I haven't done any maintenance on it so what I'm using is a bit of water, some coarse sea salt, and then uh, I'm going to use also a little sponge. So uh, I'm just going to put some sea salt onto the board, and that's going to kill all the germs that's sitting in your board before you you reapply the oil. Do the whole board like that. If you run out of salt, you just add some more. And you, what you, what you really want to do is get rid of all the, the germs and all the food leftovers that might be stuck in your board. Like I'm pretty careful with my board, but you never know. Like you might miss some little bits, and and then when that's done, I'm just gonna put it on its side. To, uh, to dry and then when it's dry I'll be able to reapply some oil on this one as well. So I just finished cleaning all around and, and the top and you can see this is the color of the pad before and after. So like it, it's really important not just to kind of wipe it down like it needs a, a bit of a scrub every month or every two months at the maximum I would say and then you remove all the leftover food that's in there you remove all the germs the salt make sure that all the germs are killed and then once the, the board is dry we'll, we'll apply some more oil on it so now that the board is dry uh, I'm gonna apply more of the the oil and the idea here is not to put too much like you you don't really know at that at this point how much your cutting board is going to need so it's better to add more than trying to put it back in the bottle Now this one is the very very first cutting board I ever made and great cutting board and it's just an example for uh, if you're thinking about building your own uh, don't cheap out on the thickness I, I don't know if you can notice but this one is warped 
and uh, that's another uh, uh, that's a another thing like when you put your boards away you want to put them on their side to prevent that kind of warpage even on the bigger cutting board but this one is just like it's warped like with, with the little feet it's fine but it's just it's a bit wobbly so uh, but I still use it because it's a nice size and so I'll do the maintenance on this one as well and uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching the video and uh, I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like and share and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet.